Hello and well, welcome back for another video. You know, today we're going to talk about the foot ankle cord. Sometimes you just have a patient with the foot is so extremely long, which the cord doesn't cover the full foot. I'm pretty sure there are many ways to get around this, but I just figured out a way which I want to share with you today. So stick around and I will show you. Thanks for tuning in on my channel guys. For those who are old, thanks for coming back. And for those who are new, my name is Bakhtin again. I'm an Amarai videographer. So in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amarai topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. Like I mentioned in the intro of this video, I'm pretty sure there are many ways to get around this. But just recently I figured out, uh, you know, uh, if you have a very long foot, you, you can use a different pillow to get the foot a little bit lower. And sometimes it just doesn't cut it because the foot is just too long. And if the foot is outside the coil, you know, you won't get any signal. So I just figured out a way to come around this. And the way is that I am using the four channel per special purpose. I'm just putting inside of the forefoot. And um, by this, I mean, I have the full coverage of the ankle to the forefoot, the whole foot, and not only the forefoot. So without further ado, let's go to the scan and I will show some images. All right, just let me grab my computer right here and I will show you. So here I'm combining the foot ankle coil and the special purpose on the top of the forefoot, right? So th this is very good because it's helping you to, to fixate the foot and easy for patient to lie still, especially on the forefoot. So we're gonna do four sequences here today, T1 and PD, and uh, with and without the, the special purpose on, of course. So uh, like I said in the sequence here, no special purposes on here so we're just gonna try to do this one sequence first and then we're gonna do the same sequence but this time we're gonna turn on uh, the special purpose so it's on there and we're gonna do the same on the pd just to have a comparison on and off And try to make the, the sequences the same and yeah, just cut down the scan time. Just try to make it fast so we have some images to compare. All right, so let's scan those four. All right, so the results are this on a T1. So my healthy volunteer didn't quite lie all the still with the foot and uh, he was falling asleep of course and, and like i mentioned before here this is without the special purpose on and this one is with the special purpose on and you can see the clearly here it's it's more signal in the front there and uh, it's a little bit difficult to tell on t1 but let's go to the pd and you will see the different impact right here so the pd is right this same sequence only the coil is on and the coil is off so here the coil is off the special purpose off this is on and you can see the homogeneous right here the fat suppression is it's not that bad it's a little bit uh, edema right here and you can see in the signal it's clearly different here so i mean if the patient is very have a very long foot this can be one way to get around and uh, yeah get good images it's very easy and fast to just have on the coil. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. I'm pretty sure there are many ways to get around this, but I just wanted to share one of my think outside the box approach. And I do have a question for you before we close up. Have you done this before? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you will get a ding ding whenever the things for me are coming up. Until next time, take care and uh, catch up with you.